Hey music fans, as a roadie I had this great opportunity to tour with all these bands. I wrote a book about my experiences on the road and it was the number one new release on Amazon and Bios and it's now sold millions of copies on Kindle. I'm Joel Roadie and this is my podcast, Party Like a Rockstar. This video is about finding and making a new bandmate fan. This is my friend Philip Kriz, and uh, I'm going to leave the intro on the first video so you guys can get to know him a little bit better. And we'll jump into his two reactions to bandmate, the second one at his request, I might add. So it's kind of cool that you guys enjoy, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Have you ever heard of a band called Bandmade? <laughs> Definitely not. No. My next episodes here on my segment called Road Dogs and Rock Gods is my roadie brother, Philip Kriz. He is a roadie or an ex-roadie as well. I don't think he tours anymore. He's writing books. <laughs> but he has toured with Paul Simon, Carrie Underwood, Guns N' Roses, Queen with Adam Lambert, Kiss, Justin Timberlake, Green Day, and Jay-Z. He recently wrote a book called The Roadie Cartel. You guys can pick it up on Amazon if you want to. He's going to be coming out with an audiobook soon, if it's not released by the time I release these. But you can find that on the Amazon link too. Philip Sabro, I enjoy his company. Many of us fellow roadies are proud of him for writing this book. I hope you guys check it out and I hope you guys enjoy it. We're going to jump into a bunch of episodes with him. We'll see what he does and doesn't like. Hopefully he likes a lot of the music that we all like too. But we'll see what happens. I want to throw a shout out, a thank you to the people at Unite Food. They sent me these wonderful protein bars here. And uh, I have tried a couple. I really enjoyed them. Thank you. It is a woman-owned company. So I'm proud of these ladies for creating something really good to eat. I encourage you guys to check it out. Also, if you guys watch my podcast regular, you know I kind of like to wear hoodies. I wear a lot of hoodies. One Golden Thread is a company I love. They sent me shirts, and I was wearing those shirts regularly during the summer. Now during the winter, I've been wearing this. They just sent me this. It's an awesome hoodie. Thank you, people, at One Golden Thread. You guys can read more about their products at onegoldenthread.com. I encourage you truly to do so. They're a great company. They do a lot of good stuff, too. Anyway, let's jump into this, and let's see what Philip here has to say so we're gonna jump into band made you never heard of band made they're very talented young ladies the track i selected is called onset it's a live video so we'll jump into it you can let me know what you think of them you can compare them to love bites and nemophilia if you want to it's sort of up to you uh, but i hope you like it either way so let's try
So what'd you think? I would have liked a little, I wanted to hear her sing the whole time. I just kept waiting, but uh, they're like way better than so many opening acts I've ever had to deal with in my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> they were great. They were, that was pretty, that was pretty rock star. They're really, really talented. So I picked it because we were talking about listening to uh, being boring roadies, listening to classical music. So I thought maybe an instrumental might be fun because it's sort of like this, there's a bit of jazz in there. And so I yeah, thought it would be kind of cool. Definitely. I, I, honestly, sometimes instrumentals are just, you just get a lot, you, you were putting your own, I was putting my own lyrics in at times like, okay, I, I feel this. This is where they're going. I've, I'm, it was, it was good. I, I have to say, um, I didn't realize there was this many Japanese metal rock star females. Like I'm. Yeah. It's this whole cool movement and they're awesome. <laughs> they're really, really good. I, I love uh, it. I can't get enough. Hands down, agree with you. I am in. I am going back to Japan as soon as I can with my wife, and we're going to every rock show. I'm taking this list, and we're going. <laughs> All right, let's jump into. Uh, let let's let you can hear the singer. The singer actually wasn't there, so let's bring a, a do another band made video, and you can hear her sing because she's really good too. And then I yeah. think maybe you'll become a really big fan. Let let's check that one out. I'm in. Okay, so I thought to have a bit more. Fun. I, I do like Bandmade, and you seem to enjoy their music. And you asked, you brought it up. What about a singer? So I'm going to play you a singer, and she's a really good singer. And you can let me know if you agree with me. The track I selected is called Domination. I did pick a live uh, performance, so you can let me know. I'm better.
lapar. Good to have a singer. <laughs> Impressed again. I, I'm yeah. That was that was good. That was great. Yeah, a lot of energy. I the dress. I you just don't see that. I, it, it's different. It's awesome. I love the singer. I love her finesse. I don't know. She yeah. just fits that pocket every time for me. So you're not just like hard hitting. You know, she just she kind of just just falls in this perfect place. Yeah, clean, clean little melodies with like just these like attacks of ba- the bass. I mean, like, yeah, great, great so stuff. Good. Wow. So good. OK, so um, you mentioned earlier well, during the one thing here, you said uh, it'd be interesting to hear Nemo Fila not do a cover. So I'm going to play you one of their yeah. originals and you can let me know what you think of the band then. So let's jump into that and you can see what you say. I'm in. Hey, the podcast is over. What are you still doing here? Well, while you're here, like and subscribe. Thanks. <laughs>